How's it going, everyone? This is Christian Duke from strengthaddicts.com, joined by the beautiful Jen Underwood. Jen, how's it going today? Great, Christian. Nice to be here with you. Excellent. I've heard a lot about you over the years. I never thought I'd get to meet you, much less interview you. So uh, talk to us again, you know, this being our first interview, uh, if you could, share with me and the audience, you know, when you first got started training, you know, what or who, who or what inspired you to start training, and also talk to us about how you made that transition from going from competing in the gym to competing on a stage. Okay, so I started training in the 90s. Okay. Um, I was a dancer and um, very, very thin, kind of ca trying to overcome an eating disorder and get healthy for myself, um, training in the gym. I was working in an all-women's gym called Female Fitness in Akron, Ohio. Okay. Um, with Crystal Jingo and her husband was Ray Jingo, who was an NPC show promoter then. They had the Mr. Akron show, which is now the Mr. Canton. Okay. And I competed in the first women's fitness. And then also did the first fitness nationals that Oh my gosh, you've been in a lot of the divisions. Yes, That's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. So I've done fitness, figure, yeah, yeah. bodybuilding, well, physique. Here, Maybe when I'm 50, I'll bust out the key. That's awesome. And uh, you were actually talking, talking to me about something that I wasn't aware of. You were involved in a pretty, uh, pretty shocking accident, horseback riding accident, equestrian. I was. Tell us about that. And... You said you'd be lucky if you what, washed your face that you said, something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I had a horseback riding accident, and I ended up um, my I ended up landing on my elbow and my tailbone. So my elbow was in eight pieces, my humerus in three pieces, went through my tricep, went through my bicep, severed my ulnar nerve. Initially, they were going to amputate my left oh my arm gosh. from the accident. So um, you'll never see me do a left tricep on stage. Cause well, <laughs> but... Um, Two rods, 23 screws, a cable, yeah. my ulnar nerve, and they were basically like, Jen, you know, maybe someday you'll be able to wash your face. Jeez. So skip forward a few years, and here we are, and I'm doing a little more than washing my face. Absolutely. Eight years later, and you're competing, and you're also, you also have some people in the show, right? You do contest prep also? I, I do contest, I do contest prep. I do posing, coaching, choreography with my dance background. It's kind of natural for me. Yeah, today I had um, a Brazilian bikini competitor, competitor, Slay Jane Massiel, it was her first show. Okay. Um, I also had a professional dancer competing in the figure division who did very well today. Yeah, I saw a very impressive physique. And, and Two I, competitors that lost over 100 pounds to compete in figure of women's physique. And I think that also, for a lot of people, you know, a lot of people see the physiques on stage and they're sort of, you know, trying to figure out who's going to win the show. But for a lot of people, just getting on the stage is a crowning achievement of, after a diet, body transformation. It's, it's just to get on stage is, you know, is a huge deal. Absolutely. Now, talk to us about your experience at Nationals, because I know you placed very well there. Mm -hmm. And then also talk to us about the show you're getting ready for. Okay, so I did just compete in... Uh at the Nationals in Miami in November. Mike Francois actually prepped me for the show. Okay. And Mike is prepping me now for Junior USA's. I'm three weeks out. So, ready? You're ready to go. That's awesome. I mean, you're getting prepped by like a legendary IFBB pro. And on top of that, you have a lot of experience at the national level, which I, I always tell people, you know, it's invaluable because if you've never been on a national stage, it can actually be pretty daunting. But you've been on there. It can be overwhelming initially, sure. But... Awesome. So uh, what plans do you have, like, for the rest of the year besides this upcoming show? Like, what are some things that you'd like to accomplish in 2015 or the future as far as the fitness industry goes? Well, I really love working with um, clients, you know, and I'm always looking to grow my business. I'm really enjoying the posing, coaching, and choreography. Eventually, if I ever have time, it seems like I'm so busy right now oh, yeah. with choreography and, uh, and competition prep. I love working with competitors. But eventually, I would like to maybe do some motivational speaking just to let people know you can overcome anything and get on stage. And I think me coming back from my accident, people seeing me in the gym, girls that never would have tried this, said, wow, she came back from that and she did this and it inspired them to work hard and to get on stage themselves, you know? Absolutely. And, and I couldn't be, that's probably the accomplishment I'm most proud of is my ability to inspire others to, to be better for themselves. Well, you've inspired me and we've only been uh, talking for two minutes, so I can only imagine what you could do in a seminar. But I want to thank you very much. I mean, everybody's practically gone, but you stayed, you made a promise and you stayed. And I really Absolutely. appreciate that. I always keep my promises. Christian. Absolutely. So thank you so much for Jen Underwood. This is Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Hey.